Dynamic, skillful, strong and quick, Toby Faletau is fast becoming one of the best number eights in world rugby. His rise to the top has been meteoric and the journey there a little different from most. Born in Tonga in 1990, he lived until he was seven, surrounded by palm trees, beaches and turquoise lagoons. But when the Tongan national side toured Wales in 1997, a side that included Toby's dad, Cooley, that was when fate intervened. The coach of that side was the father of Wales flanker, Kingsley Jones. I was heavily involved at Everville, captain, but also I coached there. I was nagging my dad to try and help us out with a couple of Tongans, particularly uh, second row's full back, and we uh, over-arrived from, uh, from the islands was Kuli Falatau and uh, Siowa Tomololo. Um, both instant successes and big hits and favourites at, uh, at the club. After the first year, I thought uh, because the people in Abu Verde are so friendly and I feel at home after two weeks, so I think might be I can carry on playing, so I go back in the, the next year to John to bring over my wife and the kids. My earliest memories are coming down from training or finishing a game and seeing these two young Tongan lads climbing up the walls, hanging on the roof of the clubhouse, jumping on the roof of your car. Just typical young lads, you know, really in a new environment, just exploring everything. And while Toby was familiarising himself with his new environment, his new friends were trying to familiarise themselves with the Tongan language and struggling. When we first came over to Ebervale, he went to school and then saying his name, Taulupe, it's hard for the friends and the teachers to say, and he just said, oh, just call me Toby. The rugby gene runs strong in the Falatau family and he wasted no time following in his father's footsteps. Within a few years, he was playing for East Wales alongside two other Tongan boys, Mako and Billy Vunapola. This picture, this is Mako. Oh, Billy's together with Toby. Our mothers are, are cousins or distant relatives, that, but we just call each other cousins now. But um, yeah, we pretty much moved over at the same time. And we pretty much grew up together, chucking a ball around, playing rugby. And um, even on tour, Mako said, like, never thought that would be in the, on the Lions tour, just a couple of years from being here or whatever. Mako Vunapolo's accent may still betray his childhood in Pontypool, but the brothers ultimately chose England over Wales. And although Toby played youth rugby over the border, there was never any danger of him trading the three feathers for the Red Rose. Not at all. Because uh, Toby already played for, started to uh, play with Mako in Bristol Academy, but uh, I, I already told him I want you to, if you're good enough, you have to come back and play in Wales. For most observers, it was only a matter of time before Toby ran out at the Millennium Stadium for his first full Welsh cap, and he did so on June the 4th, 2011. I'm really proud of him uh, when he played for Wales. I told him, now you're not that dominant anymore. This is your country. You have to die for your country. I was crying. I was crying. Everyone was talking. I was standing there in the stadium. I was <laughs> To me, I told them, when I'm happy, I cry. When I'm sad, I cry. 